Welcome to the Sizzle Team Office training video. In this video, you will learn where things are and how to navigate within the Team Office. The first thing you'll need to do, of course, is to log in to your Team Office. Once you've logged into your Team Office, you will be taken to your home page. If you are not taken to your home page right away, that's because there are notifications that the company is sending out for you to view. You may dismiss those and continue. And um, you may also choose to never see them again and continue. But once you are on the home page, you will see the four quadrants within the home page. The four quadrants are just information that is quick and easy for you to see where you're at. So for example, the rank advancement tab on your up left hand quadrant will give you information about what you are currently ranked at. So the highest achieved rank that this person has ever hit is the distributor. They're projected to hit the one star rank right now, but if they want to go to the two star, these are the requirements that they need in order to get two star. If they really feel like they can overshoot two star and go to three star, it'll also give you the qualifications for that. It'll give you the two, three, or four star based on the one star. So it'll give you three ranks above what you're currently projected to be at right now. It also gives you the ability to change bonus periods to look at your current bonus period versus your previous bonus period of what you were projected at previously, and most likely those were what your commissions ran at. Another thing that you can look at is your volume, so you can be able to see what your volume was for your current bonus period and your previous bonus period. You can quickly see your dollar amount sitting in your bonus bin e-wallet account and any recent commission payouts that have hit. I will show you in a little bit how to go into those in more detail. You'll be able to see your most recent order and then of course your auto ship template when it's going to run what items are on it, where it'll ship to, and how you'll be paying for it in the ship method. So it's just a quick, easy overview of your account. The other things that you can see within the home page is of course the menu along the top and your quick links menu along the side on the left. A lot of the things that are in your quick links are also in your menu at the top. Your bonus bin e-wallet is found under quick links but it is also found under your financial tools. To enroll a distributor, you can do it under your quick links, or you can enroll a distributor under your business center at the top of the menu. Quick links really are just the things that the company feels like you should have quick access to. First thing I'm gonna go over is where to sign out of your uh, team office and how to change your language settings. Currently, right now, my language is set to English, if I wanted to change my language to say Spanish, I would click Spanish there and it would update all available translated information to Spanish. That's where I can change it back. To log out, I would click the sign out button right here and would log me out of my team office. The first place I'm going to take you is a very popular place is where to place an order. You can go to your quick links along the left or you can go under ordering and place an order here. When you're placing an order, this is just an order for you. It doesn't necessarily need to take the place of your auto shipment. It can be shipped to you or it can be drop shipped to somebody else. But basically you'll see the different types of categories that are listed and all the SKUs that are listed underneath it. If you'd like to see more description on that particular SKU, you can hit the down arrow button and it'll give you more information. You add something to the cart by entering a quantity, scrolling down to the bottom, and click add items to order. Once you've added an item to your cart, you can go in and you can remove the item and update your cart, or you may proceed to checkout. You can choose your ship method. Because I am in Utah, I can pick it up from the Sizzle corporate office, or I can choose to ship it. 
finalize my order, you'll be able to see the order explanation here at the top, where it's shipping to over here on the right, and how I'm going to pay for it. I do have a credit card saved on file, so I can select that credit card, click to agree to terms and conditions of this order, and then submit my order, or I can enter in a new credit card using my billing, shipping, or other address and entering in the full card number at that point. I'm going to go back and use the credit card that I have on file, agree to the terms and conditions, and submit my order. Now I'm going to show you how to place, a, how to enroll a distributor. First you'll need to choose the home country of this distributor because I'm in the United States. I'm going to enroll my neighbor who is also in the United States. I then can choose whether I want to be the enrolling them as a distributor or a customer. In this case, I'm going to be enrolling them as a distributor. I click here to verify that they've read and agreed to the CISL's policies and procedures that are above. If you'd like to see those, you may click on the links. And it'll take you to the terms and conditions, policies and procedures. Click next. This is where I'd enter in my new enrollees and information. As you can see, I being the sponsor, Sizzle Test Account, and they'll be placed underneath me in the tree. If I'd like to change that, I can change the sponsor right here by entering in a new ID number. At that point, once I've chosen my correct sponsor information and placement information, then I can go ahead and enroll my new enrollee, entering their first name and last name, their date of birth, their username that they have chosen, a password for them that has to be between 8 and 20 characters long, select their security question, and enter in an answer. Then you'll want to go ahead and provide an address. Always use browser select settings for the selected language. That way that if it is English but in their browser they have it set to say French, it'll always show French. Or they can go in and change it themselves. I'm going to add something to the cart. Once I've added something to the cart for the initial order, I can then also add something to their auto ship template what they want sent out next month. I'm going to verify my addresses, select my ship methods for first their initial order and their auto ship, verify their initial order, verify the auto ship, and then of course pay for it. Now that we have enrolled a distributor, another thing I would like to show you is how to manage your auto ship. You can manage your auto ship template over here under quick links or under the business center under auto ship manage auto ship this is where you tell the system when you want your next ship date to go out how you want to pay for it the address that it's going to ship to the items that'll ship the shipping and handling that you have chosen for the order and any changes that you would need to make you can click the add or remove items Remove this item and I'm going to add this item instead. Scroll down to the bottom and save. Select my ship method and now those items are on my auto ship. If I'd like to change the address that it's going to go to, I would change this address here. everything that needs to be changed, then I just leave that page and everything has been saved. Okay, 
Okay, some of the reports that you want to dive into further, rather than just viewing on your home page, is found under the Business Center. There are a few under Downline Reports, and a couple under Distributor Activity Reports. The first one we're going to view is the Drill Downline View. This will give you a list of everybody underneath you who is personally sponsored by you or related by personal sponsorship back to you. On this first page, you'll be able to see that test distributor is this ID number, but if there were somebody underneath test distributor and I wanted to see, say, their home phone number, I could click on the ID number of test distributor and then be able to see test distributor too. If I wanted to link back up to me, I would just click on the link up here, back up to me. So that's how you can drill down into your organization, very similar to drilling down in your organization through the tree, but this is through a report. Personal downline report will give you information about your personal downline, people you have sponsored. It will give you their ID number, their name, what ID number has sponsored them, what placement level they're on, what their PV is currently, their rank, uh, the date of their last auto ship, and if it is 01011900, that means they haven't had a previous auto ship, the date of their last order, their enrollment date, their email address, their phone number, and what country they're currently in. These reports are exportable by clicking the export to CSV format over here if you would like to. The other downline report is the tree view, which we'll go to later. The distributor activity reports will tell you what new distributors have enrolled and what distributors have rank advanced. So for example, if you go into the new distributors account, you'll be able to see all of these people are new distributors within your downline. Um, it does not show their home phone number or email address because they're not personally sponsored by me. If I had personally sponsored, then it would provide me their home phone number and email address on those lines. The next thing that you can go to is managing your replicated website. My replicating website has my name, my email address, my phone number, I've uploaded a profile picture for everyone to see, and I've uploaded a story. You may manage that here. If you'd like to hide any of these types of things, you can hide the name, hide the phone number, hide the email, and hide the image. If you'd like the story removed, you just clear it out and save it. I'd like to take you over to the commission's past history. If you've ever earned commissions in the past, and you want to know who those commissions are coming from, you may find it in the commission's history summary. Clicking on any of the bonus ID numbers is a link. In this bonus, I earned a fast start. If I want to know who I earned it for, I can open it up. It'll give me the ID numbers. And if I want to know the name, I can click on the detail report. It'll tell me who, and then I can go back. Same with the VIP com customer commissions. If it's the ID number, the percent, the volume, the amount, and if I want to know who, I can click on this little detail. Another very handy report is your volume report. And go into Financial Tools under Volume Report and view your Personal Volume Report. Personal Volume Report will give you your own volume for the week along with everybody else's that's in your organization. You can choose your period that you're looking at using the drop down box at the top. You'll be able to see that there are ID numbers, names, whether they're on auto ship, whether they're personally enrolled by you, the PV that they have, any return volume that they have from those orders, any group volume that they have, and their sponsor ID. 
Some of the other information that you can see in your corporate office or your team office is corporate info. You'll be able to see any messages. Those are email messages that have gone not only to your personal email account that you have on file, but they'll also go into your messages under corporate information. Any notifications. Any notifications that the company has sent out company-wide, say about a promo or a notification or a webinar, could be found in the list of notifications even if you've dismissed them. The company can put in some FAQs, commonly asked questions that may be about your product, business, compensation plan, etc. They'll be able to be found there. You can go ahead and click on corporate contacts and all of their contact information is listed there. Under my account is your my account settings. This will give you your information, your current rank information, and who's enrolled you. The information that you can change is your contact information, your shipping address, your billing address, your email, and your phone number. If any of these changes, feel free to go in and update them under My Account Settings. Once you've updated, click the Save button at the bottom. You can change your username. Current username right now for this account is Sizzle Test Account. If I'd like my username to be something else, I would enter it here and confirm here. Please note that your username is also your replicated site URL username.sizzle.net. I can also change my current password, enter in my new password, and confirm my new password. I may also change my security question and answer if I need to at any time, and then click Save. My preferences are mostly important to know about your language preferences. My language preferences are set to English right now but I can set it to use my browser settings. My browser is set to also use English, but if it had been set to use French, everything would change to French here. Or you may use the widget at the top like I showed you earlier. Your email preferences are always set to receive company emails and upline emails. If you wish to turn those off, you would uncheck the boxes and save. Under the Payments Method tab, this is where you would save your payment methods that you prefer to use. I have a payment method in there called Test right now, but if I'd like to use a different payment method for my auto ship or my ordering, I can add it here by selecting Credit Card, the billing address, entering in the credit card number, the expiration date in the year, and save. Now I have the test card and the testing card in here. I would like to now use my testing card as my primary payment method for my auto ships. I can go in here, click on the little pencil to change that, select testing card, and save. Now, my testing card that I just entered is my primary card that I'll be using on my auto ship. If I'd like to change that for my ordering as well, I can do that here. Alright, within the bonus bin, you'll notice in your commission history that you've received commissions. Your bonus bin holds your commissions until you decide what you would like to do with them. Your bonus bin gives you the opportunity to transfer funds to a new distributor if you'd like to say, I'm going to pay $20 of your enrollment. Here's a voucher for that. Or you can transfer funds to an existing account, which you could do that to your downline for winning a promotion in, within your group. You can schedule funds to go out through uh, however Sizzle has chosen for them to go out. I'm in the US. I have iPayout, so I can schedule them to go out through iPayout. As you can see, it'll show you my balance right here, what's available in my allocated funds, my standard funds, and the total. Standard funds are your commissions, any funds that you've received. Allocated funds are funds that you've been transferred from another distributor or gifted from your corporate office. 
In the settings tab, you can also choose to have an email notification sent to you if you either have a low balance or you've received a commission payout. I can also choose to see my funds, what they are in other currencies. So right now I am seeing US funds, but if I wanted to see what they would equate to in euros, I could check that, click save, and go to my main page, reload, and you'll be able to see that this is how much it is in US dollars, and this is how much it is in euros. To transfer funds, I can choose to transfer all or part of my funds to a check, to ACH, to iPayout, or to any of these banks. I'm going to say iPayout. My iPayout username and how much in funds I'm going to send out. If I choose to send it through ACH, then I will need my routing number, my account number, and re-entering in my account number. If I choose to send it to a distributor, rather than sending it through check or ACH or IPL, I can go ahead and enter in. I can enter in the ID number to make sure that they're in, our dis in my distributor downloading. Search for them, find them, and then I'm going to send them a dollar. Now I have sent a dollar to that distributor. That's how you transfer funds out. Last thing I'm going to show you is view my tree. Okay, view my tree and a quick link to the business center will take you to the tree. You'll be able to see personal information about the person at the top of the tree, your account that you're in, and rank and volume information. You can zoom out, you can zoom in. Say if you zoomed in and you wanted to recenter, you can use the little cloud button there. And then we'll recenter that ID number to the center of your screen, still being large. You can also use your zoom ins and outs by using the plus or minus key here. You will see that there are three levels showing you your first in level and then your second level. Your unilevel tree can get quite wide, so you can click and drag and pull your screen around. If you'd like to go back to the recenter, if you'd like to see the person that's here, view their information, you can hover over their little node and view their information here, or you may click on them. It'll take them to the top of your tree. You'll be able to see all of their personal information right here. If you'd like to go up one level, you can see who enrolled that person or who's directly above them in the tree. You are welcome to enroll directly from the tree by clicking on the white node with the plus sign. If you'd like to see your tree without the nodes and the enrollment nodes on, you can click on that. If you'd like to see a little bit more information or search for an individual, click on your settings. Within the settings, I can search by a distributor ID or a name. If I type in the word test, it'll give me anybody that has the name for the word test within their name. If I click on that, then it'll take me to that ID number. Now that I'm at that ID number, I can then click on the upline and see who leads back to me. It goes test Bob, test Jane, an account with no name, and then back to me. If I want to go up one level, I can click one level at a time. I can collapse this and go straight back to my home, which will take me back to the top of the tree. This concludes the training of Team Office Navigation. Thank you for your time.